Today, before we start our watercolor project, we're going to review and learn some basic watercolor skills and procedures. First of all, you will need your watercolor set. In your watercolor set, you should have the colors red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, brown, and black in that order. You should have one watercolor brush, a paper towel to blot your brush on, a cup of clean, fresh water, an individual water cup for yourself, and one cup for dirty water at your table, and a mixing palette that looks something like this. Once you get your supplies, take your fresh water cup, pour a little bit into your personal water cup, and set it to the side on your right hand if you're right-handed, on the left-hand side if you're left-handed. And first we'll talk about the watercolors and how to use them. As you can see, here are clean watercolors. This one, the yellow, still has a little paint here on the side. If you come to me with a watercolor that looks like this, I'm going to tell you to keep working with it because there's still paint there. If you notice, I'll take my wet brush and loosen the paint here on the side of the pan and I can paint a nice full line with all that paint that's still in there. As an example, here is a container that's completely empty. You'll notice there's no pigment anywhere inside of the container. Second, if you have a watercolor set that's messy, let's say the other student had some green and then went into their yellow and made it all yucky and dirty, the way to clean out your watercolor is get a fresh, clean brush, swirl around in a circular motion, blot that icky paint out on your blotting paper, clean your brush out, and repeat the steps until you get a nice, clean-looking watercolor container. Next, to get your paint wet, take your brush, get some clean, fresh water, and make sure that it's wet and swirl your brush around in the paint in a circular motion to moisten up the paint. You can only paint with the tip of your brush so when you're swirling it around just use the tip of your brush. There's no need to push down hard or smash the brush because that just ruins the brush, ruins the watercolors, and you can't paint with the back of the, or the heel of your brush anyways so there's no use to get the paint back there. If you notice if I swirl it around in here with just the tip, I'll have enough paint on the tip of my brush to do the painting I need to do. Next, we're going to talk about brush control. Our brush control looks like this. When you have a brush and you're holding it, you should hold it right in the middle here behind the metal part of the brush, which is called the ferrule. This is called the tip of your brush. This is called the heel of your brush where the bristles and the ferrule meet. The metal part's called the ferrule, and this red part back here is called the handle. You should hold it in the middle of the handle behind the ferrule. And don't hold it way up here by the bristles because you get paint on your hand, and don't hold it way in the back because then it'll be too wobbly and you won't have good control. To have good brush control, hold it like a pencil right behind the ferrule. When you get started, moisten your watercolor that you're going to use. Put some into your mixing pan. So I'm going to do green. And I'm going to add some extra water in it to make a wash. All the watercolors are very powerful, so you only want to use a little bit of paint and then add water to it. Okay. The only color you want to use pure is yellow because it's a very weak color. Whenever you're painting, pull your brush. You can pull it right to left. You can pull it left to right. You could pull it down or pull it up. You could even pull it in a swirly line. What we don't want to see is somebody taking their brush and smashing it into the paper and scrubbing back and forth like it's a mop. Number one, you can't get a nice clear controlled line and it ruins the bristles of your brush. So please don't do this. Next we'll talk about pigment load and adding water. We did already show you how to make a wash. You're going to add some clean fresh water into your mixing pan. Get some pigmented paint 
out of your watercolor container and make a thin wash of your color. There, that's my thin wash. If I now take my brush and clean it out, my green paint is already wet. I'm going to use a dry brush and just kind of gently rub the tip of my brush into the paint. And notice how much darker this one is than, say, that or over here on my wash. Another way to control the pigment load is to use a fresh, clean paper towel, wad it up into a bunch, and press firmly onto your watercolor. Don't scrub back and forth. Just press firmly. And you can see I've lifted up some of that paint pigment and left a lighter area where I blot it. These are some basic watercolor skills that you should use while you are starting our watercolor projects.